This year, the Queen will reach a milestone that no monarch has ever reached. Her 70th anniversary on the throne is now less than four weeks away. The Queen will officially mark the Jubilee date on the 6th of February, the day her father, King George VI, died and she acceded to the throne. Most celebrations will take place when the weather warms up towards the summer. The big bank holiday weekend to mark the Platinum Jubilee will actually take place at the beginning of June. From Thursday the 2nd to Sunday the 5th, the UK will be brimming with events of celebration. The 95-year-old will open her private estates to the public, and some of the world's biggest stars will take to the stage outside Buckingham Palace. Some of the Jubilee celebrations have already begun. Luxury department store Fortnum & Mason launched the Platinum Pudding Competition to find a new dish to dedicate to the Queen's 70 years on the throne. The Queen's Green Canopy campaign to plant tens of thousands of trees for the Jubilee also continues throughout the planting season. In May, more than 500 horses and 1,000 performers are expected to take part in the Platinum Jubilee celebration in the arena used by the Royal Windsor Horse Show on the Windsor Estate. The first day of celebrations in June will see the Queen's traditional birthday parade, Drooping the Colour, take place near Buckingham Palace. On the Friday, a service of thanksgiving for the Queen's reign will be held at St Paul's Cathedral, followed by a live concert a ballot for which will open in February. There will be a Platinum Jubilee pageant when performers, dancers and musicians will tell the story of the Queen's reign in London, including a river of hope made up of 200 silk flags along the Mall. But given the Queen is on doctor's orders to limit herself to light duties, it is not clear which events she will be attending.